Okay, I spent four hours yesterday getting these. I had so many hundreds and hundreds of people request I get these again, and I can start making them when I get back. This was a business trip, technically. My high point of coming down here will be like going out to the Chinese buffet. <laughs> so uh, let's take a look at this satellite map of Florida. I live right here in Fort Myers. I drove, um, yeah, up here <laughs> to the, the most remote part of Florida, possibly, to uh, get these hides. And uh, I even have, now these are really rare. You, you almost never see them in the wild. Pink alligators, <laughs> have you ever seen them? They're really hard to find, extremely rare pink alligator. But uh, I picked up, and these cost a fortune. But I can uh, be sewing on these for quite a long time. I don't know if you know it or not, but there's not really many places where you can get gator hides. All of these, of course, are legally harvested and tagged. These are government tags. Um, these are uh, four are special. They're actually finished a certain way. And uh, they look really, really, really shiny. But uh, you can see right there. I have these. I'm going to make... Uh, Primarily, I'm going to make wallets and uh, belts. A, a single alligator belt will literally take all day long to make an alligator belt. You can't believe what it takes. Because you can't just make, you know, take out a piece and make a an alligator belt out of just... You can't do it. You actually have to do it in sections, and you actually have to um, edge cut them, and then bring them together to make the seam look nearly invisible and sew the seam. It's just, it's an enormous amount of work. You think a belt would be simpler than a wallet, but it's it takes a lot longer. It takes about 10 times longer to make a, a genuine alligator belt than it does a wallet. This is a nice blue one. I really love this uh, dark blue one. I'm gonna actually make uh, a wallet for myself out of the pink one. No, just, just getting the blue one. Yeah, check out the pink alligator. So they're all tagged. There is literally, I mean, I, I, it took a significant portion of the small amount of money. I, it cost me thousands and thousands of dollars, these 20 gator hides did. Not a thousand or a couple thousand, but thousands and thousands of dollars. You want to know why a uh, one of those expensive alligator bags costs so much? It's not just the handiwork. Well, that's a lot of it. Like this. These are all juvenile gators, except for the one behind me, which I actually have on the table here. This is—I wouldn't call this a monster gator, but it's—it's a—it's a, an adult gator. There's his feet. I also got this. They 95% of what this tannery does is gators. This is a hide called an axis. I think it goes by another name called a chital, which I'm probably mispronouncing that, but some people call it speckled deer, but it's uh, called an axis deer. Axis. Very, very beautiful. That's for me, by the way. And, uh, Check that out. This would make a, a, a beautiful belt. Here we have the uh, the exit chamber right there. <laughs> um, these are the back of the neck scales right there. Legs. So, aren't these some of these colors beautiful? It took me, not only did it take me five hours of driving yesterday. It took me nearly three hours of hand selecting out uh, these gator hides. I had so many hundreds of you request. It's like, I, I just don't have enough gator. It's just, not only is it obnoxiously expensive, but it's not like you were to buy like normal wallet leather, which there's tons of that everywhere. You're talking about something exotic like alligator. The tannery is there in the back room. It's open up to the air, so these guys are working 
in 95 degree heat. And uh, wow, it was, I stepped back there. They actually had an alligator on the rack. It was a monster. The, the alligator was so huge. It was as wide as this couch and about nearly twice as long where it was being tanned. I mean, it was an enormous monster. Easily like six times bigger than any of these are. It was just huge monster. Um, these are, however, genuine Florida, Florida alligators. Um, if anybody's interested in a wallet, I can't start making them until I get back. But uh, I thought I'd show you these, especially the pink one. And those pink gators are really hard, hard, <laughs> hard to find in the wild. They're pretty rare. <laughs> Especially the deep blue ones. A lot of people were impressed by this deep blue gator, which I can understand why. It's pretty gorgeous. Yeah, this is the stuff, of course, you have to ignore. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Gator, gator, gator.